Welcome everyone to our new video where we are going to discuss the assignments add-on of our plugin. This add-on allows you to create engaging assignments in your courses. Let's see how to set it up. You can limit the number of allowed attempts to pass the assignment or leave it blank for unlimited attempts. Similarly, you can restrict the number of allowed attachments and the file size. File extensions can be restricted from here. You can also allow students to use one more amazing feature of Master Study, recording video and audio just in the assignment page, enable them, and set the maximum file size. Additionally, you can also display some emoji once the student passes or fails from the assignment. To set the emoji up, first go to the Master Study settings, then open Courses tab. Enable the setting and select the emojis. You can create and add assignments to your course in several ways. The first and the simplest one is to create it using Course Builder. Let me edit one course using Course Builder. Add a new lesson and choose the assignment as a lesson type. Enter the title to your assignment and give the restriction to attempts for the particular assignment. To the assignment content, write down the description of the task briefly so students can easily understand what to do. Let me save it, and this assignment has been created and added to this course successfully. The next option is using Assignments tab in the Plugins dashboard. Here will be displayed all assignments on your website. Let's add a new assignment. Fill the fields as we did in the course builder. Click on Create and it will be created. But this assignment has not been added to some courses yet. Let's add it to the course. First, select the course, then choose the section that you want to add this assignment to. Great, now it has been added successfully. In addition, pre-made assignments can be imported in the course builder using the search materials feature. Just filter or search, then select the assignments that you want to import, and that's all. Now you can see these two assignments are in the curriculum of our course. Let's see how it looks to students. Students can submit the assignment in four formats. They can use multiple formats in one assignment as well. Firstly, they can use our amazing text filled with a word counter to create engaging texts. They can be short answers, reports, essays, and so on. Next, they can attach any type of files that you have permitted. Master Study allows to record audios directly in the assignment page without any extra tools, which means you can get the recordings of your students easily and effectively. All you need to do is to just give proper permissions. That is not all. Our video recorder allows your students to record videos directly in the web page as audio recorder. Instructors should write what kind of assignment they are expecting from students in the assignment content section. Let's submit it. Now, you can see our assignment is in pending status. Let's move to the instructor's profile and explore how they can deal with the submitted student assignments. From the dashboard, find the Assignments tab. Here will be displayed all assignments of the instructor. Assignments can be filtered by the course and the status. Let's open one of the assignments. In this page, all assignment submissions can be managed.
After reviewing the submission, the instructor can change the status to passed or failed and give the review to the students. As students, instructors can also use the audio and video recorder. Alternatively, admin can check the assignments using the student assignment tab in his WordPress dashboard. Once the status of the assignment has been changed, the student will get a notification and he can check it by following the student dashboard, then my assignment. In this page, all of his submitted assignments will be displayed. After analyzing the feedback by instructor, a student can resubmit the assignment if there is any attempts left. By the way, there is an availability to save the assignment as a draft. In that way, students can continue their work at any time that they want. All they need to do is to click Save as Draft button before they leave the page. Next time, they can complete the task, then submit it. Actually, this was the end of our tutorial. Do not forget to put your thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content. Take care. Thanks for watching.